morning, everybody. So as always, you voted, I listened. You all voted that I should go to Paris Blockchain Week. So I can only make one day. So I'm flying out, it's currently 3.21 in the morning. I'm about to jump in the car and drive to Manchester Airport. Then we're gonna fly over to Paris, get straight to the conference center, do a day there and then fly back because I've got a meeting at 9 a.m. here in the UK tomorrow. So it's, I'm tired, but first leg of the journey is underway. Good morning everybody, hope you're well. We're now in Manchester Airport, flying to Gay Paris for Paris Blockchain Week. Haven't actually got a check ticket, didn't really think it through. So hoping somebody from Hedera can get me in. I have heard that uh, Eric Piscini, my friend, the Chief Revenue Officer of Swirls Labs is there, so maybe he can help me. The airport, as you can probably see, is eerily quiet. So I hope, I literally haven't seen anybody else, so I hope I'm not expected to fly the plane. I'll have a go. Um, that's it. Bon voyage, au revoir, mon chéri. Okay, everybody, landed safely in Paris, on my way to Paris Blockchain Week. Um, oh, the view from the plane was absolutely amazing. I've got to show you that, have a look at this. Hi everyone, it's not very glamorous. I'm in the cupboard of the Hedera stand. I've just arrived at yeah, Paris Blockchain Week. There's the badge. Um, I've just come into the cupboard to drop my coat, to drop my bag, and I'm gonna get straight into it. I've already seen Eric uh, Pacini, he's very well, great guy. And uh, we're now gonna go and find Zepsi, because I know Zepsi's here, and we'll have a catch up with him and see how the whole show's going for them. It's definitely um, quieter this year. Um, it's quiet today. Eric was saying that it was absolutely chocker yesterday. Um, but there's definitely less stands this year than there was last year. And the other thing that I'm noticing is that, which is good news by the way, the industry is definitely maturing because um, there's a lot less fancy dress. I don't think, I haven't seen anyone dressed as, you know, a clown or. Uh, vertically challenge people running around slapping asses so I think that's a good sign for crypto and it's certainly a good sign for Hedera because the more grown-up Hedera gets uh, sorry the more grown-up crypto gets the better Hedera will do um, I'm quite interested in seeing the meta metaverse X uh, stand because I covered those guys and I've spoken to the community quite a bit and they're probably the most engaging community I've ever spoken to. Most uh, communities, when you, when you raise obvious issues, get very defensive and start you know, slinging mud, name calling. This is a serious stand. Bet construct. Um, yeah, people get, start slinging mud, start getting abusive, but um, Metaverse X, their, their community were actually willing to listen and debate rather than argue. Oh, so here we go, this is them. And they've just announced a partnership with Solana. I don't know how that's going, given that Solana's currently turned off. I don't know if you watched, if you followed me last year and you were watching my stuff. But if you did, last year was definitely busier than this year. So that was hall, that was the smaller hall to be fair. This is the smallest hall and then we're going to the big one. I tell you what I've noticed, I tell you what's missing. A lot of the stands 
that have the kind of little intricate businesses. The guys who make the seed frays, uh, storage devices, this, you know, the metal seed frays things and the little physical wallets, those kind of little stands, they're not here this year. And I guess they just aren't selling enough. They're too early, I guess. So they're not selling enough of them to justify um, being here, effectively. People getting a massage, must be nice. It's a beautiful building, by the way. Really, really beautiful venue. Right, so then we go back around here. Wirt, it's an awful name. Stella. EDF, Hadira Governing Council member. Uh, one of the council members was on stage earlier talking, will pay. Art of Privacy, Tinch, Wallet People. See, I don't know if you notice, but it's a lot tamer, it's a lot more mature. There's not too many cartoon stands. I can see one over here, small one, look. So basically, this is what I'm talking about. So last year, two years ago, five years ago, any blockchain kind of expo was basically this. The, see the cartoons and, and pictures? So that's what they used to look like, but as I said, the industry is maturing. So let's go and have a look through the third and final hall. I tell you what guys, since I've been filming, it is starting to get a bit busier, starting to fill up a bit. Still not like it was uh, this day last year. You literally couldn't, like you couldn't see the floor uh, in some of the uh, rooms, some of the areas. Okay, so this is, I guess the main hall. Chilies, BitGo. I haven't seen a stand like demoing anything, so I can't really show you guys anything this time. Here's Adira. They've got the yo-yos. Definitely gonna nab some of them and we'll do a giveaway. I don't know, it's hard to quantify as an outsider, but if this show has been like this the whole time, I probably wouldn't come back if I was Adira next year or maybe have a smaller stand, or do something slightly different. Um, that said, what's really hard to know as an outsider is the connections they're making and the conversations that they're having back of house. Uh, obviously they'll know, they'll be tracking everything. Um, but for us, I stand, I stand mistaken, look. First costume I've seen in the show. Um, Casper, Casper Labs. Yeah, so unless they're smashing it backstage and we're not seeing it, uh, you know, conversations at meetups and greet ups and stuff, unless that's happening, I, th I think. A deal perhaps. And, and that, that said, I don't know what they paid for the stand either, so they might have got a really good deal. Knowing Hadira, they probably did. V chain, the UFC. Go bit headphones. And that's it, guys. You've now seen the whole thing. I'm going to go back now and speak to the Metaverse X people. Right, guys, come and have a look at the Hadira stand with me and tell me what you think. I'm going to spin this camera around. So please don't judge this event on this one guy. Um, he's actually a mascot. So three or four years ago, I would say everybody was dressed up like this and they weren't mascots. They were actually just what they wore. Uh, but uh, I'm happy to report that the crypto industry is finally uh, maturing. Anyway, here they stand, here it is. Is Eric, hello Eric. Hey. <laughs> uh, so this is the Hedera stand, the Hedera council. They've got the socks and they've got the yo-yos. Socks. 
yo-yos. I'm going to nab some of those and we'll do some giveaways. So uh, this is it. I tell you what, they've got a really good spot because they're getting walked past on both sides. Team's busy engaging, talking to, to people. So yeah, I think it's pretty good. We're next door to Chili's again. Uh, Coinex, Tokenos. Um, who are these guys? Chainwire. Look. See? Hi, everyone. Okay, so that's a wrap. What do I think? I think that... In hindsight, actually, I think it is worth Hedera being at events like this because it does garner exposure. I do think they need to start looking at more side events. That's what other chains seem to be doing. Algorand don't have a booth at Paris Blockchain Week. Ethereum don't have a booth at Paris Blockchain Week, but they've got massive communities um, and they do have side events. I think Hedera should be doing both. I think if it were me, I'd be looking to do a booth in the event, and then I think the real action is in the side events. And the thing about side events is, because they're not, they're not at the location, anyone who comes to one has gone out of their way to do so. So you know they're at least slightly interested because they've gone out of their way to get there. And secondly, they're a captive audience. You're the only people they've come to see. You're not competing with other booths. So I do think the side events have got a lot of merit. As always, the, the Adira booth, I've got to say the branding is on point, it's very clear. Uh, I always try and look at it as if I have no idea what they do and it becomes quite quick, uh, quickly apparent what they do. The team are super enthusiastic, knowledgeable, approachable. Yeah, it's, it, it, it's getting better and better. They're honing their skills. They're, it's, it's really encouraging to see. Um, the event itself, definitely quieter than last year by quite a bit. Um, fewer exhibitors as well, that's for sure, definitely. So I don't know if it's just a lull this year because you know, crypto's, we're still in crypto winter effectively, or if it's just that event specifically that is suffering. I don't know. Let me know what you think anyway. Hi everybody. So back in the UK, just landed back in Manchester Airport, walking to the car. Poof, tired now, I've got to admit. Um, no one can accuse me of not making the effort. That's one thing I think we can say. Um, really good day, very tired, long walk now, and they've decided it'd be a good idea to renovate the entire three or four miles that we have to walk of automatic walkway. So I have to walk the whole thing. Um, yeah, I think it's the same old story though. I'm always re so excited and so enthused about Hadira and HBAR and the price of HBAR. Every time I see the team, see what they're doing, see the conversations that are going on, it's the same thing. But we're still in a position where, if we're honest, um, like, what's that thing that people are putting on um, X? My dog's got a hat coin or something, is now outperforming Hadira, is outperforming HBAR. Um, so I think that just kind of says that utility, utility, two things I know for sure, utility and um, substance mean absolutely nothing in crypto at the moment and I'm equally sure that they will I just don't know when it's going to happen but it will happen and when it does it will be Hadira's time so good night <laughs>